Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you to make an HD admin command logger. Basically, it's self-explanatory. Every time you use a command with the HD admin uh, thing, it'll send a command to the Discord server saying what command was used and who used it and the server it was used in. So, if you're watching this video the day it's uploaded, the model will not be released to the public yet. It'll only be in my plugin. That's linked in the description below. You go to view scripts, video scripts, HD admin logger right there. Um... But the day after this video is released, uh, the model will, release, will be released in my Discord server. So you can just join that link in the description below and then wait for it to be released. But I'm going to show you how to create it anyways, if you don't want to wait. So the first step, you want to go to your game settings. You want to go to security, allow HTTP requests, and enable CO access to API services. Make sure that's on. Then obviously you want to insert HD admin. So just look up HD admin, insert it right there forever by forever HD. And then make sure the folder stays in workspace. You can delete the thumbnail, but you want to go into the settings and then the loader script. And you want to delete this last line that says loader folder destroy. You want to delete that or else it'll break the script. Now, for the main script, you want to insert a script and server script service and just name this HD admin logger like that. And <clears throat> You also want to use my uh, webhook service v3, link in the description below too. So you go to toolbox, go to my models, and insert webhook service v3, like that. And then just put that inside the script like that. Now we have to define a couple variables in the script. So just do local discord equals require script.webhook service. And then local URL equals, and then this is where you put your webhook URL. So we'll put that after. So now we have to define a couple services. So local players equals game get service players. Local marketplace service equals game get service marketplace service. And local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage. And then now we want to define the HD admin settings folder. So we'll just do local hd admin equals require game dot workspace hd admin dot settings so basically it's requiring the hd admin folder in the settings module <laughs> now we want to make a table of all the possible prefixes um it's basically just the exclamation mark in the one you have set so we just do local possible prefixes equals and then hd admin dot prefix comma and then the exclamation mark like that. Now we're gonna have a couple functions. So the first function we're gonna do is has rank. So we'll do local function has rank player. This will check if a player has a certain rank. So if game dot creator ID creator ID equals equals player dot user ID, then return true end. And then for underscore comma v in pairs hd admin dot ranks do local fields equals v3 and then we want to do an if statement if fields then if player dot user id equals equals fields to then return true and this is basically just checking you know make sure the command doesn't run falsely like if someone just types the command and it doesn't work this is making sure that the command actually works before they uh force sends the webhook so underneath the third underneath the third end right here we're going to do some spaces now we want to check if they have a certain game pass which is the hd admin game pass of course well, if they have permission for it so for id name in pairs hd admin dot game pass let me delete that that was an accident. In pairs, hdadmin.gamepasses do. And then we want to do if ID is greater than zero, then if marketplace service user owns game pass async player dot user ID, comma ID, then return true. And then underneath this third end, we want to do we want to check if they have like a certain asset. 
which is the H admin, I, th I believe. So just do if ID name, or not if, for ID name in pairs, hdadmin.assets do. If ID is greater than zero, then if marketplace service user owns game pass or not not user owns game pass player owns asset player dot user id id then return true now uh we're gonna need to do one more if statement underneath this third end and i'll be done with this function so we'll do it uh for for iv in pairs hd admin dot groups do if player is in group hold on is in group first letter of all of that is capitalized i then will do if v player get rank in group and then i then return true now and then underneath all this uh before the last end just return false this will return false if none of this is true now we want to check now we want to do is a command or, or is a command function so this will check if what they did is an actual command or not so local function is command player message then we want to do if not table dot find possible prefixes string dot sub message one message and then wait, wait. if not table dot finds possible prefix is string dot sub message comma one comma one like that then return false end if not has rank player then return false end and then underneath this just do return true now this just checks if it's a command or not now we're going to do the main handler which basically sends the message if it's a command. So we'll do local function main handler p message. If is a command p message, then that means it's basically just checking if what they said is a command, then that means it's a green light, then we'll send the whip. Then local fields equals, and this is going to be the fields for the uh the webhook so we put like a table like this and then press enter and then put another one in there press enter so we're going to put three fields we're going to put user user id and command so we'll just do name equals user value equals p dot name and then inline equals true make sure to put a comma after all these and then uh, at the end of this bracket, put a comma and then do the same little table right there. And then you want to do the same thing here. So you can just copy this right here and then just put it right there. And then just change the name. So this is going to be user ID and it's going to be P dot user ID. And then do one more like that, paste it. And then this is going to be the command. So command and then just make the value msg for message because that's what we put now that's the fields done now we want to at the end of this we want to like send the message so we'll use discord create embed uh url and then the title which is going to be hd admin command and then a command was used with hd admin in now after this we're going to put the job id of the game and you can use the job id to join the game using teleport service join that specific server so basically you want to uh add a space after that and then like after this bracket just add a space or after the quote add a space and then do two dots for concatenation and then two string game dot job id or studio now this is going to check if the game if the job id isn't there well, you don't need the or studio because it's not going to send or studio anyways. And then just do fields. And then you can add an image of your choice. I'm going to use the uh, HD admin logo I got from Google. You just right click on the image on Google and then just click copy address. So just put that right there. 
now we have two more functions we need which is player added and then the logger event so players dot player added connect function player player dot chatted connect function message main handler player message now we want to create a remote event in replicate storage and name this remote event logger event and this is gonna um, be for the command bar purposes for like HTML. And then underneath this, you want to do replicate storage dot logger event dot on server event connect function player message. And then if hashtag message is greater than equal, if is greater than or equal to two, then main handler player table dot concat message comma. And then you want to put two quotes in a space like that. Now that's this script done. Uh, we have to put your webhook URL first. So go to your Discord server of your choice, go to server settings, go to integrations, and then create your webhook and then copy the URL. Now, after you do that, just put it right there. And that's done. Now we need one more script, which is the script. And we're gonna put in a starter player scripts. So we'll just put a local script in here and type this is this is a pretty small script so it's gonna be quick it's only a couple lines well not a couple lines but it's short so local players equals game dot players or game get service players and then local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage local player equals players dot local player local top bar equals player dot player gui not not player dot player gui wait for child hd at admin admin guis dot cmd bar dot search frame dot text box so this is gonna um make sure it's text box like with those capitals so this is gonna find the uh the command bar for hd admin and check you know if a command was used to work so now we just do top bar not two number top bar find first ancestor find first ancestor and then cmd bar dot changed connect function now if top bar find first ancestor command bar dot visible equals false then <clears throat> if hashtag string dot split uh, top bar dot text and then the same little uh, quotation mark with the, the space is greater than equal to two then replicate storage dot logger event dot uh, fire server string dot split top bar dot text and then the same thing. Now that's the script done. That's everything done. So let's go ahead and test it out. So it shouldn't have any errors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, like fly like that. And then you can see it sends, sends it right here. The image is big. So to fix that, all you gotta do is go into the webhook server script right here. And down underneath where it says create embed, where it says image, make this thumbnail like that. And then it'll fix the big image. So let me redo it. So you load in and then in the chat, I'll do fly me. And then it sends it right here. It says HD admin command, a command was used with HD admin, user, user ID and command. And it also works with the command bar too. So if you press a uh, little quote and it opens the command bar, type unfly, and then it sends it, it should send it in the, oh, I spelled ancestor wrong. Okay, I said don't make a spelling mistake. Uh, but like I said, if I do fly and then enter, it'll work right here. It says I use the command fly. I do uh, kill me like that. And then it sends it right here. It says the command was used. So like I said before, you don't have to type all this out. You can just wait the next day for the model to be released. But if you want to do this, then you can go ahead and just, uh, you know, do it. 
Um, if this video helped you, make sure to subscribe, join my Discord server, link in the description below. And also put some ideas that you want me to make in the future in the comments.